Now, people often ask me, well, why did you stop at 7? And I say, I don't know. I mean, I just uh, stopped at 7. But I left out a few that I really probably am going to put in the next edition. Uh, <clears throat> and one of them would be uh, gratitude. To bring gratitude to the present moment because, well, say, for one thing, just we're alive. We take that so much for granted. A little gratitude, wow. The body's working, I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out, my eyes work, my feet work, if, you know, the, the liver is working, the kidneys are working. I mean, we take so much for granted. So in that sense, um, the, the seven attitudes are a way to uh, remind us of that, and gratitude uh, really should be in that list. Uh, another one would be generosity. Uh, a sense of like uh, how powerful it is when you give yourself over to life and uh, that you give other people what would make them happy. Not for yourself, not so that you can pat yourself on the back and say, oh, I am a generous person, but because it gives joy to others. It, it enhances interconnectedness. Uh, you demonstrate that you care and that you are actually giving some time and attention and thought to someone other than yourself. So um, both gratitude and generosity, uh, I think, should be included in that list. I could go on, but I think that uh, nine would be enough. It's hard to keep more than nine things in mind at any one time. And of course, they're all completely interconnected, so you don't have to actually remember any of it. If you are practicing non-striving, then uh, everything else is embedded in that. Acceptance is, embed is embedded in that. I'm sorry. Acceptance is embedded in that. Generosity is embedded in that. Uh, gratitude is embedded in that trust is embedded in that, and so forth. So any one of these uh, attitudes is a door into all of them, and that's why they really are forming, in some sense, just uh, different uh, ways of understanding what mindfulness is really about. And I probably should say that in all Asian languages, the word for mind and the word for heart are the same word. So in English, when you hear the word mindfulness, if you're not hearing the word heartfulness, uh, you're really not understanding it fully. And so that, those attitudes are, are really part of the heartfulness element of it. Um, whether it's seeing things as they actually are, the most profound thing you can see is the interconnectedness of all things. As soon as you see that, then <clears throat> emotions like anger, for instance, are very different because, uh, or fear for that matter, are really transformed in some way because of uh, our uh, interconnectedness. So, so it's a way of seeing other people as they really are and not necessarily seeing them as threats and then being able to find some domain of commonality that comes out of the heart, that comes out of the head, that comes out of the body, that comes out of life, as one completely integrated whole.